to Space Engineers. All right. Well, here we are with the uh, new station barely begun and pretty much mostly where I left it at the end of last episode. Now, since then, uh, well, I finished up the things that I started and whatnot. And uh, I went out and mined up a whole bunch of uranium, and the refinery is still working on that, so there is no issue with power. And then after realizing that a certain amount of bumping and banging around was affecting my health, I built a medical room here. So that now I can take care of that, and also, should the worst happen, I have a place to respawn at. The ship is basically currently parked here, serving as a good-sized inventory. However, I need to uh, start doing something about inventory. Like, for example, having at least one small cargo container on the station, which actually is going to be the first of many, I'm sure. I'll get started on now. See, construction components, metal grids, small steel, motors, displays, computers, yada yada, the whole routine. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure that I'm actually going to need much in the way of... Uh, large steel tubes, but what the heck, let's see, displays, and motors, motors I have plenty of, all right, hey, I got it all, all right, now what I need to do is to, uh, later on off camera, I'll move the contents of the cargo on this ship over into that, so that I have materials available, on the station. Uh, I've given some thought to the station. I want to have the thing set up so that it will be possible to pressurize it later on. It's not going to be pressurized right now because I'm not even sure how big I want to let this get before I start enclosing it into rooms and whatnot. But uh, that's going to be an ongoing thing. Uh, I've also been thinking, you know, I really need to uh, get some ion thrusters on this thing, because I don't want it to sit here burning hydrogen fuel to use those thrusters for station keeping when we're in a place where ion thrusters are going to be the best thing to work with. Uh, of course, that is going to mean I need to locate, I believe I had found some plutonium, Okay, show that on the HUD. Turn this one off. That's the bookmark for the landing site where we are on the planet. All right. Mining by hand again, but only for a little while. Once I can get some platinum and start building ships. All right, platinum. 122 meters, so that's going to be around on the outside of the asteroid over here. Or at least closer to the outside. Okay, I may have to drill through it. All right, not a problem. I'll just uh, right click drill a little tunnel into it, right to where the platinum is, and I'll get a good bunch of that refining right away, because this stuff takes a long time to refine, and you get comparatively little of the actual metal from, per unit of ore than you do most other items. It's just stone.
There's platinum. I'll go ahead and grab that iron too. That's more stone. Ugh. All right. All right, I'm going to mine up a bunch of this stuff and get it cooking in the refinery. All right, just coming back from my second run of uh, platinum mining. And I got another 9.37K here, so pop that in here. That's just a hair over 20,000 platinum in there. That should net me at least enough platinum ingots to uh, get some stuff done. Now, if I go over here to production, first I want to make sure that the control the assembler is turned off good all right now one of the things you can do to make things easier about making components go over here like for example large block tab or for small blocks for small grit stuff uh, or anything on here actually I'm on large grid because that's what I'm going to be using I scroll down here to find what I'm looking for and here it is, the small ion thruster. Now, if I click that, it'll put the components for one small ion thruster in there. But if I control click, it'll put the components for 10. And I'm going to do it a second time to get 20. And so this is the grand total of everything that's needed to build 20 small ion thrusters. And uh, most importantly, here you see the material requirements. Iron, not a problem. Cobalt, I'm not sure, honestly. Gold, I'm not 100% on that. I'm pretty sure I don't have that much. Not 533. Platinum, need 213 platinum to make that. And I'm not sure that that much ore is go that amount of ore is going to make 213 platinum. Oh, maybe it will. Okay, so first thing I need to do now is get over here and move all of my ingots out of this thing. All right. All right, and iron. And it doesn't look like I'm going to have much enough of much of anything here. Anyway, I'm going to move all these, all this ore in here. Later on, there'll be a little bit more segregation of what goes where. Right now, I just need it all accessible to the uh, system over there. Let's see. Silicon. Oh, yeah. we got lots of silicon. get it all over there and uh, then have another look at that production queue to determine if I in fact do actually have enough of everything and what things I need to get more of all right production okay I've got four just a second uh, yeah, let's go over here. Because from zoomed out this way, this becomes a little easier to read. All right. I've got... Uh, how much iron do I have? Six thousand. I'm going to need twenty-five thousand. Cobalt, I don't have any of. Well, no. I do have a little bit, but not very much. So, what I'm going to need to do is locate deposits of each of those materials and take my little uh, impromptu escape ship slash explorer slash driller and uh, go looking for iron, cobalt, gold, and I think the platinum might be taken care of. And we'll find out. All right, let's get out of here. Head back over there. All right. Now, 
I guess the easiest one to get a hold of and take care of is the iron. Because that's everywhere around here. It's actually everywhere, everywhere. I've never seen an asteroid that didn't have tons of iron. That wasn't primarily iron. Often more iron than stone, even. So this will be quick and easy. To just load up on some iron. Sometime, several versions ago, they changed the way the drills work, and instead of working nice and smooth like they'd run, they they work. The way they work now is the drill works on something and every couple of seconds it updates. It makes the idea of smooth, consistent, steady drilling pace kind of almost impossible or at the very least difficult as all get out to manage. It's really annoying. But the smoothly functioning drills used to be really great. Okay. 161,000 iron. I'm sure that's enough. All right, next up we need to find cobalt. And that's the one thing I haven't seen around here. Check my bookmark. Yeah, iron, magnesium, platinum, ice, and uranium. We haven't found any cobalt. And going to need a good bunch of it. So, I'm just going to pick an asteroid at random. Dampening off. Just accelerate, coast over to that thing in front of us and get over there match up with it and do a survey looking for cobalt mark put up GPS markers for what is there and if I don't find cobalt go somewhere else and do it again this could take a while or I could find it on the first try who knows okay getting close now after about a five minute flight three to five minutes, something like that. Hit the inertial dampening and begin slowing down. Just move over a bit so there is no collision. All right, now I want to get close as I can without colliding. And get some input from the ore detector. basically just survey this thing. In other words, fly around it really close, as close as I can, and uh, find out from the ore detector what's on here, or in here. Well, iron, well, I knew that. What else? Ice? All right, try circling around here. It would probably be worthwhile to grab up some of that ice so that I could just let the oxygen generator run crazy and uh, keep the ship's hydrogen tanks full. Now, so far, all I'm seeing is iron and ice. What's that? I see. Ah, gold. Good, we need gold. And there's silver here, too. Alright, how 
real close, are we? I do believe we can get some gold here. Good. All right, drills on, and let's dig some gold. along with a bunch of stone to go with it. And yes, I could hook the drills up to do a right-click thing and just destruct a drill, but I'm not going to worry about it. I have enough cargo space for it, and I can throw the stone out if I need to. Even if it is a pain in the butt to do it manually, it doesn't matter. All right, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's get a, sec a clear hot bar and weapons. Bring down the drill as a weapon. Go back to the first hot bar and turn the drills off. Go to the second one. And now I can right click them. Because I forgot that using the right click not only destroys, it removes material in a larger swath, a larger area at a time. Sometimes faster. Okay. Let's rotate like this. And do some right-click drill, left-click dr drilling now. and pick up a few tons of gold. Everything just kind of stopped on me there for a second. Okay. For gold, we have how much? Where? Okay, we have 88,000. That should be enough for now. So we've got iron, gold, silver, ice. Which is pretty good. I would like to see some cobalt in here, but i got a feeling I'm not going to. All right, I'm going to go back up there to the gold and make a bookmark up there. Make a GPS mark here. Yeah. Iron gold ice all right and now I can go ahead and turn that one off pick another asteroid and head further out looking for the stuff that I need that's a likely target dampeners off accelerate and then coast. 
All right, closing in here, I see that this is a nice, reasonably close together cluster of three asteroids that I can check out. So I am going to go ahead and uh, begin my slowdown and then check all three of these out and see what they've got. And I'll be back with a report when I have something, because I'm quite sure it's not very exciting or interesting to watch me slowly cruising around these asteroids looking for stuff. Well, it seems that my search is a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Not only do we have the usual iron, we have uranium over there, the black, the gray, silicon, and up there, around the outside of the asteroid, is cobalt. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this. There. And now I'll head around and I will mine up a bunch of cobalt. I will take a few minutes to check out these other two asteroids close by just to see what they've got. And then once I've got an idea what they've got out here, I will head back and start refining stuff. Ah, yeah. The brown there. That's the cobalt. Definitely get a little closer and the ore detector will pick it up. Yeah. All right, and now for several tons of cobalt. I'm actually surprised that it's been this easy to find it. I mean, I did set the asteroid density to, uh, what was it, low or medium or something? I didn't have the infinite, infinite high density. I got it like infinite low density, I believe it was, I set this thing for. And uh, it's been surprisingly easy to find this stuff. Normally, there's at least one material that uh, you spend a lot of time trying to find, and you only find a little bit of it here and there, but I seem to have done pretty good for myself with this world. Inventory. Cobalt, 223,000 already. Whoa, cool. All right. I'm going to head back around here to where that big opening is. And I'm going to get in there and mine a bunch of uranium as well. And I might as well grab some silicon while I'm right there. And then do a quick survey of the other two asteroids and head back to the station. And I'll see you there. All right. Well, I made it back to the station. One of the things I'm going to have to do is to uh, name the station. I'm going to have to actually put a, uh, geo mar a, a GPS mark here for the station itself because I realized on the way back that the one I was following was the mark that I had put down for the uranium over there which is all fine and dandy but I need one that's marked specifically for the station itself and maybe it might be an idea at some point to put an antenna on this thing but I'm not going to bother right now 
I have moved a bunch of materials off the ship into the refinery. Platinum, cobalt, gold, iron, and so on. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the iron to the front of the queue. It'll refine quicker anyway. And uh, what I'll do is when enough of that gets refined and I can make the necessary stuff, I want to start expanding the station platform. Uh, probably out this way, hook it into the conveyor system, and specifically, I want to build more refineries. And uh, I think what I'm going to go for is to have one refinery for each type of ore, so that, like for example, I can always have one working on platinum, and always have one working on cobalt, and so on. Especially the slower to process ores, there's no sense in ever not processing more, because it takes so long to process them, and uh, so on. So I think I'm going to work on that try to come up with uh, some idea for a layout for the base that this is going to eventually become and start figuring out what I'm going to do about rooms and pressurizing and so on and uh, yeah get working on that and as enough platinum becomes available I'll have the assembler start manufacturing thruster components so that I can start using more ion thrusters, well, start using ion thrusters, as opposed to uh, depending on hydrogen and burning up the ice so quickly. Not that there's a shortage of it, but it just makes sense. I'm not fighting planetary gravity and whatnot. There's no real need for using hydrogen thrusters on vehicles that are never meant to go into an atmosphere or a high gravity field. In the meantime, Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.